In this video, you're going to learn about the ESP32 touch sensor. The ESP32 has 10 capacitive sensing GPIOs. These GPIOs can sense variations in anything that holds an electrical charge, like the human skin, so they can detect variations induced when touching the GPIOs with a finger. These pins can be easily integrated into capacitive pads and replace mechanical buttons. Take a look at your board pin now to locate the 10 different touch sensors. You can see that touch sensor 0 corresponds to GPIO 4, touch sensor 2 to GPIO 2, and so on. Note that touch sensor 1 is GPIO 0, however it's not available as a pin in this particular board. Reading the touch sensor is straightforward. In the Arduino IDE, you use the touch read function that accepts as an argument the pin you want to read. Let's see how this works by using an example from the library. In the Arduino IDE, go to File, Examples, ESP32, Touch, and open the touch read sketch. This example reads the touch pin 0 and displays the results in the serial monitor. The touch pin 0 corresponds to GPIO 4, as we've seen previously in the pinout. In this code, in the setup, you start by initializing the serial monitor to display the sensor readings. In the loop is where you read the sensor. As you can see, it uses the touch read function, and you pass as an argument the pin you want to read. In this case, the example uses T0, which is touch sensor 0 in GPIO 4. Now, upload the code to your ESP32 board. Make sure you have the right board and COM port selected. Connect a jumper wire to GPIO4. You will touch the metal part of this wire so that it senses the touch. Open the serial monitor at a baud rate of 115200. You'll see the new values being displayed every second. Touch the wire connect to GPIO4 and you'll see the values decreasing. You can also use the serial plotter to better see the values. Close the serial monitor, go to Tools, Serial Plotter. Here you can view the readings displayed in a plot. How can you use this feature to control outputs? Let's build a simple touch controlled LED circuit. Grab a piece of aluminium foil, cut a small square and wrap it around the wire. With the same code running, go back to the serial monitor. Now, touch the aluminium foil and you'll see the values decreasing again. In my case, when I'm not touching the pin, the normal value is above 70. And when I touch the aluminium foil, it drops to some value below 10. So, we can set a threshold value and when the reading goes below that value, an LED lights up. Add an LED to your circuit by following this schematic. The LED should be connected to GPIO 16. Copy the code provided to your Arduino IDE. This code reads the touch value from the pin we've defined and lights up an LED when the value is below the threshold. This means when you place your finger in the aluminium pad. Upload this sketch to your ESP32. Now test your circuit. Touch the aluminium foil and see the LED lighting up. As you can see, it works as expected. To recap, in this video you've learned that the ESP32 has 10 capacitive sensing GPIOs. When you touch the GPIO, the value read by the sensor drops. Finally, you've also learned that you can set a threshold value to make something happen when it detects touch. I hope you like this project. If you want to learn more about the ESP32, take a look at my course, Learn ESP32 with Arduino IDE. This is a practical course where you'll learn how to take the most out of the ESP32 using the Arduino IDE. There's a link below this video to register in the course. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.